Again, who is that DJ and like that? That is DJ Ryan Wolf playing me in. What's going on, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Lockout men, and I'm back again with another podcast interview for you guys. And I am here with a female driver that's that wants to come on to the show and 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 talk her experience uh in trucking uh let me go ahead and switch this right quick there we go she wants to come on here and talk her experience i already spoke with her husband uh wayne shipman so you guys make sure you guys stay tuned for or if that video isn't up yet, or that podcast isn't up yet, if it's not up yet, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That was a that was a good interview right here. But uh, his wife, she's here. She wants to come on and tell her side of the story of uh, of of what's it, what's it like to be in a female trucker out here. So, guys, I want you guys to put your hands together and uh, welcome to the show. Bernadine Palmer. How's it going, ma'am? Going very well. How about you? Uh, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. I am uh I am here just waiting for my I guess I'm just waiting for my clock to expire so I can go ahead and uh get back on these interstates. Sometimes sometimes these uh I understand. Sometimes this trucking world could be good. Sometimes it could just be downright depressing. <laughs> All right. Yes, and very tough. <laughs> you say very, very tough. Do you think? Do you think it's more? Do you think it's more tough for women out here, or is it? Or is it more tough for men out here? I would have to say I think it's tougher on women. Everybody does have their own opinion. <laughs> well, go go ahead, Miss uh, Miss Palmer. Go ahead and uh, let everybody know where you uh, where you come from. Where I live. Yeah, yeah, you know a little bit of background about you about yourself. Okay, I come from Indiana, Napoleon, Indiana. Uh, I've worked in the factories and I've worked in restaurants and now I work in trucking and I, I enjoy it uh, because I don't have to deal with a lot of people and their BS and uh, I'm not stuck in four walls with no windows. <laughs> okay. 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 So you, uh, so what, what was it that you, what was it that you did before trucking? What, 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 what was you was, uh, what was you was doing before trucking? And what was, what was life uh, like? I ran, I ran a, my own restaurant for 13 years, and then we decided to get out of that, and we moved to Harrison, and I went to Kroger, and uh, I didn't really care for Kroger, and I had a friend come up to me, and he says, I'm going to take truck driving school, Bernie, you ought to do it too, and I go, thought about it, and went home, and I told my husband, I'm going to go be a truck driver and you can come or you can stay home. Okay. Okay. And, now, uh, now Kroger, what, then I what went to school what, Kroger, you, you worked in, you worked on the store side or you worked in the, uh, worked in the corporate side. In the store side. Oh, okay. And how long, how long you was with Kroger before, before you got into trucking? Cause you said you owned your own restaurant. I want to touch a little four bit. Four years. On. I want to touch a little bit on that too. All right, so four year. What what was uh what was Kroger like? What was grocery store like? Cause I I used to work in a grocery store too. But what was it like for you? Um, it's I don't know how to say it. I mean, you know, it's all 
politics. You got to do this. You got to do that. You didn't do this right. And it's, they don't want to listen to anything, any of your ideals to try to improve things. And you're the one working in that area. And it's like, okay, whatever. I give up. So was you like was was you like a a department manager or department head or something like that? No, I was just uh, I was just uh, in the bakery for two two three years, and then I went over to the bistro because I enjoyed when I worked in the restaurant. Uh, the, I enjoyed it because I got to talk to people and stuff. Um, but I'm sorry, but people that come in the Kroger is usually are are not real nice. <laughs> That's... Some of them are, but most of them have a problem when they come in and they you get the end of it, you know? I think uh I, I think grocery stores is is I don't understand it. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I worked in a grocery store back in the day. Um there was a Kroger in in my area of uh Cleveland, Ohio, but they, they closed down like relatively early. Then um, uh, grocery store chain uh, Finest was, you know, was big in our, you know, in our area. But then a company called Tops out of New York uh, brought them out. And then later down the line, they, you know, Tops decided to uh, shutter operations in, in Ohio. I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, it was pretty good grocery store. But, well, yeah, when I worked there, you know, you, you get a diverse group of people that comes through uh the grocery store chain yeah. you know i started as i started as a porter and then i moved my way up to working in the seafood department not <laughs> not a good thing especially being a young <laughs> man coming home on a bus <laughs> after working in the seafood all day uh, you, yeah. can, you can imagine <laughs> you can imagine how how that bus yeah. ride was <laughs> Yeah, I stayed my ass in the back of the yeah, bus. Yeah, it was a little rough. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely stayed my ass in the back of the bus with that one. Uh, Thirteen years of uh, owning your own um, own restaurant. Uh, what what was the reason? Yeah. What was the reason why you closed the doors? Or, um, well, if you want a lot of work, that's a lot of work. I uh, was a single parent trying to raise my child. Uh, you know, you have to cook and clean at your house, and you have to keep the uh, laundry done and the grass mowed and weed eaten and everything, you know, looking nice because, you know, you got to go to the restaurant, which was in front of my house, and that way everything looked nice for the restaurant. And then you got to go over and, you know, clean in the restaurant and, of course, cook and then it was, um, the, you know, to have good workers. I actually was pretty lucky and had really good girls and guys that worked for me and, you know, uh, would let you know if they weren't coming to work or if they were sick instead of just uh, no, no show, no call in. Mm -hmm. If you did that, you were just fired because I can't, can't run something like that you know you, you got to have people you can depend on and and I had young young people that I could depend on and it was really cool I was kind of like their mother figure I think <laughs> would you if if you hadn't gotten the trucking would it would would it would would that would have been continue would, would you would have continued uh trying to operate the trying to operate a a, a restaurant would that would have been your plan b job if you if you wasn't if you couldn't get probably, right. yes, right. I uh, I enjoy cooking, and um, I mean I cook all of our meals to take on the truck with us every week, and uh, I also cook extra for my mother so she don't have to worry about cooking, and uh, I just like to cook. When somebody tells me that they you know enjoy it or like it, and then that makes me happy. <laughs> So did so do you cook so do you cook on the truck or do you or this is just all pre no. before you before you go before you go out for the week? I cook at home on the weekend and then I prepare it, divvy it out in trays for 
myself, my husband, and my mom, and uh, just load it up and come on out for the week, and then I go home and do it all over again. Man, that is awesome, man. I mean, that's that's awesome to, uh, cause you know you got a lot of guys that like to cook on their trucks and. Uh, you know, me in particular, I, you know, I, I don't have no room as it is with with my additional equipment, but I don't have no room to cook, you know, to cook anything on a truck. And then I have then, you know, I would probably have an issue with like keeping the, you know, keeping the utensils clean and the uh, the, the the stuff that I cook in clean yeah. and all like that. So unfortunately, I'm a. I'm a slave to this. Well, I, I try my best not to uh, not to indulge in 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 the in the store brought food and all like that. I try to I try to really 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 limit that. But I do have a refrigerator and I do got like like sandwiches and stuff like that. So that that pretty much works out for me, you know. But damn, that's that's man. Ooh, wish I had somebody to cook for me. Can I find somebody? Else? <laughs> um, when you uh when when you decided to get into uh, get into the truck, uh, you you said that you had somebody that influenced you to uh to start driving. Yes. Um. Well, most of my family or a lot of my family drive a truck, and I was always like, I can't drive one of those big things. They scare me to death. You know, <laughs> but. Uh, one of my friends from Kroger, he's like, he's like, I'm over this place. He's like, I'm going to go get in, go truck driver school. He goes, you ought to go with me. I go, you know what? I'm going to think about that. It didn't take me very long to think about it. Yo, your husband. When like I, I said, then I went. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, like I said, once I thought about it and made up my mind, I went back and told him. Your husband, uh, your husband got influenced by you for, you know, yeah, on his, re yeah. on his reasons to, uh, to get into, a, in, uh -huh. to get into the truck. Um, yeah. have, have you guys, have you guys teamed at one time or, or wasn't it, a, or was it a decision between the both of y'all to just, uh, to just drive solo? Um. Well, when I first started and I got, I got my truck like in October. So everybody was worried about me for the winter. So he rode with me for the winter. Mm -hmm. And then, then, um, you know, then he got out and he did the truck schooling and then got in his truck and he can't sleep when I'm, driving not because of my driving because you slow down you hit the brakes because of all these wonderful four-wheelers that know how to drive mm -hmm. ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> so we decided you know that we couldn't team and that you know we're not going to get any sleep if we are in the same truck you know okay so i went where i went and he went to where he went and then uh, it seems to work just fine for us all right. So you, what, what, what you do? Regional or you're a local driver? What, what, what are you? I'm regional. Are you regional? Regional. So, so you regional home every weekend? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I was 21 days out. Okay. Okay. Uh, when I when I first started. Where did you go to school at? Where 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 did you go to school for truck driving? Napier Truck Driving School. Where's Where's that located at? Uh, Hamilton, Ohio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, but you live in you live in Indiana now, though, right? Yes. Oh, okay. But at one point, you did live in Ohio to go. Well, wait. Let me rephrase that. Yes. Oh, okay. So you did. So you did live in Ohio at one point, and then that's where you went to trucking school. All right, all right. So Bernadette, man. So t uh, tell us your tell us your uh, your experience. What's uh, tell us uh, being a female trucker. What's 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 that like for you? Um, I've 
I've always been a tomboy anyway, so it's that part being out by myself and things like that was easier to come by, I guess you'd say. Uh, I had a really good trainer. She was really strict, and that's why I think she was a good trainer. Um, And I've not really had too many bad experiences out here, but I'm not a little frail-looking gal either, you know, and I'm not afraid to stand up for myself when I carry a hammer around with me and check my tires. And I have a small dog that's with me, and he, you know, he'll scares people away from us. And if I have to take him out at night, I take my hammer with me. And okay, okay. That's how we stay safe. <laughs> okay. So you said, uh, so you said during your training phase, what, uh, what what companies how many companies you 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 was you was with before you got with this company I, this is the only company i've been with and it's creek carrier oh okay okay that's what's up that's what's up um so coming in so coming out of school and jumping on with creek carrier did you did any other did you did any other research before you decided to go with creek carriers Probably four months, uh, different uh, truck trucking companies, and uh, that's who I decided that seemed that had the best policies, good pay, um, and I'm I'm very glad that that's who I went with because. They're very good to me, and if I need to get home, they get me home, and, uh, you know, they keep me running. They, you know, they run me as hard as I want to run, or if I need to slack off, they deal with that, too. Uh, I mean, I know everybody at my, my home terminal in Indianapolis. My dog's actually the, the mascot for Indianapolis Terminal. They love him. <laughs> so they, uh, they, the people are really good to us, and that makes it a world of difference. They made you a dog an honorary mascot, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what was uh take take us through training? What did you did you uh did you uh request a a female trainer, or did they or yes? So you requested a female trainer. Yes, I did. All right. So how long did it take them to accommodate you on that? Uh, Not too long. Maybe really not too long. Maybe a week. I mean, it's kind of funny because her and I are, you know, still friends. And she's had other trainees, but none of them lasted. Um she goes, I think, you know, God had her be my trainer and we got through it and I'm going to be the only one that she ends up training. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's, what's your opinion? What, what What's your opinion on this, uh, of, 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 of the trainer trainees? Um, do you think females were, uh, should, should train with females versus training with, with, with males on a, on a, on a truck. Yes, I do because then you don't have to worry about the sex stuff or or being raped or any of that. Um, but you have to be comfortable with whoever it is that you're being trained with. I mean, I probably could have dealt with uh, training with the guy. I would have just probably been a little more. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I had two brothers and I, and I get along with guys usually better than I do the girls. Cause like I said earlier, I'm more of a tomboy kind of gal and, mm-hmm. but very grateful because she taught me very well. 
Okay, that's what's up. And how how long how how long has it been uh since uh since you've been with Crate? Uh next month it'll be four years. Four years. All right, all right. And have you have you uh touched off well you say you have you so you've been regional ever since you've been with them? No, my first year I was um over the road and the last three's been um regional. All right. So how how was how was it over the road for you? What what did you uh what was your experience? It was- um, it's very different because you're out so long. My mom hated it. Uh, she's the biggest reason I went back to, uh, regional so I can be home every weekend so I can, I take care of her on the weekend, okay. take her to the house and she stays with us. And, um, yeah, she didn't like not seeing her little girl every every weekend so right. we changed that up that made her much happier and i call her and talk to her three times a day and that seems to help and uh, i hate to say this that's i love not, her to death i hate but. to say this that's, that's more than when i call my moms I, I i call my moms maybe about two times a day <laughs> you know what i'm saying you, you got one extra in on me on that one uh, uh well i i do checkups on her is what i do i call make sure she had breakfast and she took her medicine and then lunchtime is just to break up her monotonous of her day and then then i call about seven o'clock and make sure she ate and she takes her nighttime pill okay okay how old's your how old's your mother by the way miss moms she's 87 87 Okay. Okay. God bless her heart. Um, you said. Amen. You said you had a. Uh, you, so so you have kids, right? I have two boys. Yes. How how they how they feel about you being a truck driver? They they're fine with it. My oldest son, he's thirty three. He uh he was a truck driver, so he knows all about it. And my youngest is twenty two and. He's like, go, mom. So your oldest, he 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 was in trucking. Why? What happened? Why he's why he's not trucking yeah. no more? Um, because he come across a better opportunity. He works with a, a, a sealing seal company. They seal okay. the roads and driveways. And okay, huh. and my youngest son works with him too. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he just used that trucking as a as a filler job. Well, that's how he was had had started. And, uh, the company that he was with started goofing him around, and then he found this this place, and uh, now he's a foreman, mm-hmm. has his own crew, and. His name's Tim. My youngest son is Zach, and they've also talked to him about, you know, if he sticks with them and, and keeps learning everything he's learning, that uh, he could have a crew also. So okay, that's what's it's up. pretty exciting having them both work together. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, all right, all right. So how? Hmm, I, I think I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask this one question that I ask all the ladies out here. Um, how do you, how, what type of reaction that, that, that you get from people when they, when they see you getting out of the truck? Some of them are very surprised and some of them, I don't think worry about anything, you know? Uh, I get a lot of questions, how long you've been driving and, uh, of course, everybody just loves my my little companion Gidget. He's something else. But um, hold on for a second. Oops. Well, there we go.
All right, so I. There we go. So I I got a. Uh, all right, so truck driving is. Uh, so you you really so you really enjoy it right now? Would it would it be you? Do you have a uh, do you have any do you have any goals or any plans for after you uh after you get off the truck or you you pretty much content with uh with driving and and maybe uh retiring from uh from trucking well there's a lot of things that go through this mind of mine and <laughs> i keep telling my husband i want a food truck so uh i don't know if i'll do that or not because i know how much work goes into handling food and stuff uh and i really enjoy driving so as long as my health keeps up uh We'll just keep driving and see where it takes us to. Uh. <laughs> what's some What's some things that you wish you knew? Um, what are some things that you wish you knew after CDL training? What What do you What do you What do you wish you knew before you even before you started driving? Um, how hard it is on you not to be around your family. Um. Even though, you know, I get to talk to them pretty much every day on the phone, but just not seeing them is, is tough on you. And uh, I was so green when I come in, I didn't even know how to get in and out of the, the truck stops. I'm like, okay, which way, where, where do I go? Where do I go? <laughs> so yeah. it is tough when you get started, but uh, if you just keep up with it, Everything seems to work itself out and get a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Even pulling into a rest area, you know, I, I had never done that. You know, you do all of that with a trainer. Trainer, and I had listened to his, some podcasts before about uh, training, and I just want to say that that uh, Crete was. A six week course mm -hmm. you got paid like six hundred dollars a week and uh if you wanted more training they would give it to you i ended up going for a total of eight weeks but we she was involved with um things uh i can't think of what it's called right now but she would have to come back and to the terminal and take care of things and uh so i would be off the truck over the weekend or a couple days at a time and so i asked you know can can we do a couple more weeks because i wanted to feel um ready and 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 good you know feel good about being able to come out here and do what i need to do and and not be, you know. You wanted to feel not uh, ask you, the questions and and find them. You wanted to feel comfortable before you actually go out here and and, and explore the world. Yeah. With, with the truck. So, okay. Yeah, because that's a big rig, and if you mess up, you may take more than just your life. That's what's up. That is what's up. Well, Miss Bernadine Palmer. Thank you for coming on today. I really do appreciate it. Definitely appreciate you taking the time. To, you are uh, welcome. Definitely taking the time to come out here and, uh, you know, give a little bit of uh, experience, uh, share your experience with us out here. Uh, what type of, um, what, what kind of advice or tips that you got for for ladies of of your age that's deciding to come out here and uh, get into the trucking industry. Do your homework. Check out, uh, you know, watch some YouTube videos and, and learn what's going to be in front of you, you know, the not being with your family and and work with your trainer learn all you can 
it will help you all right all right all right well again thank you for coming on and uh chopping it up with me definitely tell uh wayne i said what's up <laughs> If you guys want Definitely. If you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, you can do that by ways of finding me on YouTube, of course. You can uh just leave your request in the comment section and I'll reach out to you that way. Or you can hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me up over at Instagram. Make sure you hit, you know, make sure you hit that uh that uh like button over there too you know what i'm saying uh if you guys want to come on yes sir uh, guys want to come on and chop it up with me for sure let's do that let's do that if you like this video Uh, (laughs) if you like this video give it a like if you want more just subscribe to it hit that all button so you can get all the content that comes in my cousin dj ryan wolf who is that dj like that going to play us out and while he's doing that you guys take it easy and i'll come back with you guys with another video y'all take care and i'll talk to you guys later peace